Pain only becomes a gift once you have transformed that pain into insight and power. Right? We have to do the psychological and the spiritual work to transition that pain into something that can expand us rather than letting it debilitate us. And also rather than suppressing the pain and acting all tough and over it, or like we like to do in the new age space, rather than acting like the pain was a present and we put a bow on it. It was just karma. Everyone's got their stuff, I'm all good. Well, everyone does have their own stuff and karma is a factor. And at our core, we are all good, but that insight has to come from a deep knowing. You actually have to experience the gift of the pain. You can't just jump to the conclusion that it's a gift because that's the easier thing to do than actually processing the pain itself. So as spiritual uh, and evolved as it may appear, gratitude is not always the best initial response to a challenge. Our suffering does not want to be denied. Our suffering doesn't want to be talked down to with uh, you know, spiritually correct, positive platitudes. Our suffering wants our attention. It's often screaming for it. And when we paint over our pain with premature positivity, that's a lot of P's, that's some great alliteration, let's do that again. We paint over our pain with premature positivity, then we short circuit our healing you know, we delay our wellness. And that kind of avoidance actually makes us more susceptible to being wounded in the future. You know, if you don't face it now, you're gonna have to face it down the road. And it's why the lessons keep coming back. So maybe we should hold off on the spiritual sweetener, you know, and experience our genuine reaction to the upsetting event. And then we go from there, we feel it to free it.